Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be looking at Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at some of the new masks that came in the Festival of the Lost. And not going to lie, a lot of these are really cool. I'm really, really excited to get some of these. Mostly the ones that I'm missing. Obviously, if you guys haven't seen, I have all of the masks from every Festival of the Lost. Which is really cool because I'll explain why in just a second. But we're going to be looking at... The new ones, then the old ones, and then the Eververse ones, which are these two. So, first one is Wrapped Tra Traveler Mask, which is weird considering this is actually bigger than the Traveler Mask, the basic bitch one, this one right here. It's actually a lot bigger, so that was a little weird. I wonder if it's big. It's a, if it's as big as the Fractured. No, nah, it looks like it's a, it's as big, maybe. Oh, it looks bigger. But yeah, uh, the Wrapped Traveler mask is cool, I guess. The Anna Bray mask is creepy looking, but it's funny. I love it. It makes me laugh every time I see it. The Exo Stranger makes me giggle a lot too because it's fucking massive. It's so huge. I love it. It's great. Uh, I've seen people basically cosplay the Exo Stranger. And it's cool. A lot of people have been doing a really good job of it i i just find it hilarious barracks mask which i've been trying to find some good shaders that combine a white and green with like maybe a yellow but i haven't found that yet because i haven't been trying all that too hard because i've been playing minecraft all day but that's besides the point fractured traveler mask which is cool i like it a lot it's very very cool i think it's very cool actually so there's that then the bubbling mask, which is the last one, which is one of my favorites because I combined it with a shader that looks really cool. I don't have it on my Hunter right now. I think I have it on my Titan, but it's essentially... Nah, I'll show you guys later. And then the old ones, obviously, Jackal Lantern mask, which is dope as fuck. It's one of my favorites. It's very cool. Third eye. Hive. Cool. Omnigul mask, which was an Eververse mask back in last year i think this was from the eververse so you actually are able to get it in the boxes so whoever bought this last year i yeah i got it for free <laughs> eris morn mask from last year i still think it's hilarious and it's weird drifter mask say no more dog it looks it looks great Goblin mask, which I've seen a lot of, lot of people basically using the the Vex armor from Season of the Undying. They are combining it with this, which looks cool, but like everyone's doing it, and it's just like okay. Hidden Swarm mask, which looks really cool. Uh, I would have much preferred like maybe a knight, but I'm not gonna bitch about it too hard because it's still cool. Then the Mithrax mask, which looks really fucking cool. It looked cool last year. still looks fucking cool now. I definitely want to make a Fallen-themed armor set that combines this, but I don't care too much. So, Opulent Callus mask, which still makes me giggle because it's fucking massive. The Colonel mask, which is... I don't know if you guys saw, but it is the thumbnail because I love this mask. It's great. And then the Glitter Ball Mask, which is the Ghost Mask. I have this ghost, and it's funny because it's fucking accurate. The Jade Rabbit Mask, which looks fucking cool. I love this mask. It's one of my favorite masks. This is the mask I usually put on, like, right when the uh, the event happens. Like, immediately put it on, because most of the time I'm wearing red and black. I'm an edgelord, so fucking what? Scorn Mask. Still think this looks amazing. This came out great. I would, I would rock this, but I don't think there's a gray and yellow horn, um, shader, so I'm not. Will of a Thousand Masks, which is hilarious. I would have pre preferred if all the masks went over him, but this looks fire. Still looks fire as fuck. Emperor Callus Mask, which I love to no end. It's one of my favorite masks. I actually had a shader that combined this really well, but unfortunately... Uh, these masks, if I remember correctly, they don't stay long, so that's the only unfortunate thing is that like as cool as all of these are They just they leave too fast 
This one's really cool as well. I would have preferred if it was the whole thing, kind of like an actual, like just all of it, but again, looks cool. Oh, it was so cool. Lord Shaq's mask, obviously, again, like I said, would have preferred if there was like some plate here and no like thing here. Obviously, these are like super small nitpicks. Like if you guys, like bro, don't take this too serious. Like it's just like off the top of my head, like what I would like to see. So it's not like I'm like attacking Bungie for this. It's just like, this is something I would like to see, but it's not that important to be quite honest. Because that's really all this is. So if you're getting pressed over this, my guy, I don't know what to tell you. Petrovenge mask, obviously still is fire. I still see people cosplaying as her, which is dope as fuck because her cosplay is really cool. Master Rahul mask, unfortunately, is not that great. Uh, just don't think it's good. No, I would have preferred if the whole like his whole robe was on his head, on the head, but whatever. Not that important, honestly. Dark Prince Mask. So let me explain why this is really cool. This mask was actually only available through a Triumph in, I think, the first year. What was it? Forsaken, I think. So you actually can get this mask, which I'm really excited because I this is the only one I was missing, and now I have it. Thank you, Bungo. I appreciate that. So... Last but not least, obviously, Traveler's Mask, uh, super small compared to the other two. And let's look at the Eververse ones. So the Eververse ones, unfortunately, are really fucking cool. Like, really, really fucking cool. This one is dope as fuck. I would wear this. But the one that I actually want is the Spider Mask. The Spider Mask, like, tell me what you want. But this shit looks good, bruv. It looks so good, man. I'm really... I'm like mad that this is the Eververse Thor masks, but uh, like whatever at this point, I'm slowly burning the frog, you know, boiling the frog, whatever. I don't care anymore. Just whatever. What the fuck ever. So yeah, am I going to get this? Most likely. It depends how much it costs. Uh, but yeah, most likely I'll get this. This is one of my favorite ones. It looks really cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really excited for the spider mask, the associated mask probably as well. As you guys can see, I have not get gotten the last thing for this event. I have not been playing this event actually. All day I played fucking Minecraft all day because I actually wanted to play something fun. And as you guys can see, I'm like halfway there. So I'll get this eventually. Like I usually always complete all of these aside from like the, the Forsaken Festival of the Lost. That one I did not. But usually with event stuff, I like to complete everything just because uh, I hate my life. But Crimson Days is no. Crimson Days was like, no, that's a no. But a lot of these are really simple. It's just, you know, get Cypher Decoders. and Or not get, but like use your Cypher, cypher Decoders. And then get the ships. And then after that, I think you get that. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know which, which one is your favorite mask I... I am curious to find out in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, things are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. I don't say this just to say it. I really do appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, be safe guys. You know what's happening in the world. And I will see you guys later.